All right, so there we go. That was the Black Rhino. And after all that testing, there was some, let's see if we can get this in here. The tip has a little bit of damage to it, which I'm pretty confident can be worked out. And there's one little chink right about here, right where the tip of my finger is touching. And I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying to see. But yeah, that is one little chink. So after all the stabbing and chopping, it uh, survived. Survived Hell Challenge. Got some coating that came off, right? Mostly up here on the tip and a little bit on the actual, right near the edge. Now, I couldn't get through that 2x4. I gave it my Boy Scout best effort. I just could not get through that motherfucker. So, that was a little surprising. Uh, one thing, one thing uh, I don't like is I don't like the handle. I now have a very solid opinion on the handle. This part up here worked like a fucking champ. So, as I was stabbing, I had no fear that my hand was going to slide forward and lose a couple of fingers. Uh, I wish that this part right here was also repeated up here, you know. So this, I wish this little guard was also up here so that it would lock the hand in. So if it had something that here, because that was an issue for me. As I was chopping, I was very afraid that I was going to lose the blade that way because it was uh, definitely a, a, a precarious situation for some of that there. Even using the gloves, I just didn't have the grip that I was hoping. Uh, I never found myself using the jimping that was here and the jimping that was down here on the base really didn't uh, do a lot for me. Bashing wise did pretty good was fairly decent uh, there was no damage super duper amount of damage done to the ass in here on the pommel you could just see there's some coating that came off and some scrapes but other than that four wax broke through uh, cinder block both sides so that was pretty decent uh, let's get the guys to chime in here <clears throat> let's start with let's start with Damien adequate for a combat blade the wedge effect would make a gaping hole if you slit a throat. Randy. It wasn't quite long enough. If it had a little more length, I think it would have performed better. Steve. Well, at least the motherfucker didn't break. I think it had personality. <laughs> and let's go with Ace. I really don't have shit to add to that. All right, so the score for this challenger, the Black Rhino, here are the scores. So all in all, a very decent contender. It did the, uh, it did what it was supposed to do. I kind of wish some of the chopping was a little bit better. Uh, stabbing wise, you know, it was a little bit surprising. I thought I was going to get more penetration on the car hood. Um, but even after all of that gonzo activity on the car hood, the tip survived. It didn't break, didn't shatter, anything like that. Just lost some coating. So, you know... Where I'm a little disappointed, I had I had higher hopes. I had I had really high expectations, and I really need to stop doing shit like that, uh, and just wait until after I'm done testing the blade. Um, so yeah, that was my bad. I had high expectations going into it, uh, especially coming right on the tail end of the Clax. Uh, I thought that this was going to be doing something similar, um, but you know, it did what it was supposed to do. It didn't do any one particular thing stellar. Uh, nothing really super stood out, but it handled all of that abuse and only ended up with a little chink and a little bit of a, a issue on a tip that I'm pretty sure I can work out. So that's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell all your friends. Until next time, please be good to each other.